Well, hello there. How are you beautiful and awesome people doing on this uh, this morning? We all know how I am with mornings. I get a little woozy, I guess you could say. <laughs> right now we're in Independence, Missouri, and we are getting ready to go into the Space Center Caves. We've been in here before. It's been a very long time ago since I made a video about us going in here, just for a simple fact I haven't been back since. Uh, Loading in the caves is doable for trucks. It is 100% doable. You don't really want to send a W900 down here. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. If we hit a wall, I need time to talk. You guys, enjoy the show. Oh, what'd you think of that? Huh? What'd you think of that? Yeah! 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 Oh, you got an itch, you got an itch, you just want itch, you got an itch? Huh? <laughs> Woo! The caves, man. Big, biggest advice I'm gonna give you. You ready for it? You know what I'm gonna say? Don't use your mirrors. You have to use your mirrors because things get tight. A lot of this video you guys probably won't even see just for the simple fact it would be like a two hour video. Since we've started this video, it has been three hours. Count it. One, two, three. Part of it's my fault. Part of it's someone else's fault. I'm gonna take the priority of the blame. I went to this place we're at has two locations in the caves. They have a west location and a south location. I went to the south location where the gentleman over there insisted that I needed some freight and then come over here and load the rest. And I insisted, I don't think that's how it works, man. They would have told me. And he insisted, no, this is how it goes. So then we circled around, about got lost a few more times, come back over here, and this is where they said, why did he put that freight in there? I'm going to take it off, and then I'll load you up with the right stuff. And this is going back up to Sioux City, Iowa. So a lot of that you're probably not even going to see, just for the simple fact of it would add a lot of time to this video. Holy smokes, we're in the caves. Um, we didn't hit anything. As you can see, first last is still straight. We're not out of the caves yet, so I'm hoping once we get loaded up, we can make it out of here okay. I would love to go that way to get out of here. We'll have to see if I can make that corner. That corner is pretty tight. Every corner is in, every corner in here is pretty tight. Patience, patience, patience. That's all you gotta have is patience, patience, patience. Alrighty, here's our load. 
um, uh, 90, uh, uh, a real Myra scene, I, I don't know what it is, it's all loaded up though, let's get these doors shut up, get her sealed up, and we're getting on the road. Everything's an adventure when you're with Trucking with Schmidt. Everything's an adventure. Are these caves built for first class? No. Can first class fit in them? Yeah. Just gotta have patience, go slow, and find a FedEx guy. I'm sorry, Stacy, I, I am. But a FedEx guy completely bailed me out. I had a corner I didn't think I was gonna make. I'd never been in this side of the caves. He goes, they do it all day long. Here's what you do. And he told me exactly how everybody does it. He was right. He was right on the money. So FedEx guy bailed me out of this one. I hope. See here. Can you see a difference? Can you see a difference? <laughs> Definitely the old one. Definitely the new one. Here. The true test. 
We don't have a shop light, so we're gonna make this work. That sun's pretty bright. I don't see an ounce of light in there. All right, let me show you the new one real quick. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. All right, before you guys start screaming at me, Schmidt, you're supposed to be putting more lights on first class, not taking lights off of first class. I started this project in the plans of fixing lights. Even though I hate those lights, I have plans on fixing them. Usually it's so much easier just to take your mirror brackets loose, tilt your mirror back, pop this off, pop your new air cleaner in. But W9s, you see how they move? They will hinge in and out. With these lights right here, with those right there, hinging out was not an option, which is no problem. I was just going to loosen the mirror brackets, but I figured, you know what? Let's fix these lights. Well, we started to, and bad, bad, good, bad, and this is the wiring harness. You can buy that at Iowa 80 Truck Stop or at any truck stop, or dealership usually has those right there. But they're busted. Every one of those little tabs in there is busted. When I touched them, they broke. So, after ripping my knuckles all up, I got rid of the lights. Don't worry, there is an end game. All right, let me show you the end game. Oh, wow. First off, that is beautiful. No clutter at all. No bent up stainless thing with five or six different weird lights in it. This, this, this is beautiful. This is so much better than having that clutter of lights there. All right, end game is one light. We're gonna put a bracket that goes from here to here with one light right here. That one light will be as bright as all, how many was there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. This one light will be brighter than all seven of those cluttered up ugly lights that were there. That looks so much nicer. All right, I'm gonna jump over and do the other side, put you guys down because I gotta put that exhaust lamp on yet too. And we're not, well actually, we might actually have to do it that way because if I wanna get those lights off of this side too, we're gonna have to hinge it again. I don't like hinging it because you never know if those hinges are going to snap in two on you. And this set of lights is in there tight. Gosh, that's just so ugly. I just don't like that at all. It's just, you know, that's just too long. I mean, for one thing, that doesn't even go level with the breather. It just, it's clutter. It's clutter. And I, I can't wait to get rid of it. Oh. You think I'm going to fit? Usually at home, I have a... Uh... Hey, baby. How are you? Yes. Are you checking on me? You don't want to come down here with me, though, okay? Because it's really greasy, okay? Yes. You're licking the blood off my hands. Stupid lights. Ugh. Don't look at my tummy. I know it's big. Ooh. All right, so between being in caves today and now squeezing in between there, claustrophobic is not a uh, good thing. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? It's okay. It's all right. Project's done for the day. <clears throat> No, don't drink this water. 
I would be a horrible mechanic for multiple reasons. First one being, though, I hate dirty hands. I could, I could just be good with that. Just uh, the breather lights and the cab lights, get the bumper lights working, and I could be really good with that. I, I'm not going to, guys. Everything has a plan. First off, I cannot say how happy I am with this. Oh, I just can't, oh, it's just beautiful. Wide open, there's no clutter. Those lights that were here, they just did not fit right. They, I mean, they were longer down here, and they just weren't straight. They just weren't straight at all. And I just, I like it so much, so much better with them not there. So us, so me tackling it, trying to fix them and trying to get them, get that one light working, which ended up taking out three, just been me taking those wires apart to fix them, ended up being probably one of the best things I've done here lately. so much better all right now that that's gone though i can tell you about the future you guys have all seen them um they're watermelon lights they uh well here let me show you these they're these right here but not clear i hate clear these were not supposed to be clear on this bumper they were supposed to be amber but i got stupid and i paid a dealership with a red oval to put those on and they're just the way the wrong they're the wrong light all together these are directionals um, these don't have a solid back, which means the water got in there and just fried them to where they only work for blinkers now. But those are watermelon lights. Okay, now picture, can I walk through? Okay, thanks. Picture one right there. One watermelon light right there. Three watermelon lights right here in the front. I think that just, that just pop. And then as for the side lights, I'm thinking watermelon. I'm thinking. Instead of putting, you know, what, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, instead of putting fifteen lights there, why don't we put four watermelon lights just along the sleeper, just four of them spaced out? Two here or three here, either either three there, two there, put one down here at the bottom. I'm thinking the watermelon light. The only problem with going the watermelon light all there, there, bumper, is I still have square lights on the top. But as for those lights, that's the future plans for that. Now we are there. Now we are, we are to where we can actually plan the future. These, on the other hand, 
these don't work um, back when I was thinking about getting a new hood I was gonna get the shaved look without these lights on it no lights at all on the fender but it turns out I'm probably gonna fix this hood so we gotta decide if I'm just gonna replace these or if I'm gonna put a round one there I'm not gonna put a lot of Kenworths put those little bullet light or those little bullet size things there I don't want to do that it's either a light either a round one or that square one I haven't decided what I want to do there yet but we have plans and now me taking those off and we've been talking about it a lot we've been talking about lights for like what six months now that's all i've been talking about it is time to start putting lights back on first class now and that right there <laughs> that was the final step taking those off was probably the best thing i've done in the wise of lights because that that got me motivated hey okay those are off putting the new ones on is going to take five minutes to put those new ones on there She's so pretty. I can just look at her and see her done. She's so pretty. Train, I'm making a video. Okay, so we're in Sioux City, Iowa right now. We dropped that trailer off. We're gonna run up to Lamar's, Iowa, and we're going to grab another trailer. You guys are gonna like where that trailer's going. At least, I think you will like, just because it's gonna get us back into some different territory, different scenery. We've been there before, but we're going to be hooked up to the same trailer for over 2,000 miles. Whew. How are we going to handle that? No more for, for the rest of the week. There won't be any more unhooking and unhooking and hooking up trailers. What, what are you guys going to do? Train, really, man? They're going two miles an hour. You, you don't need to blow. Two, two miles an hour. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Oh, how you doing? Are you getting better? You were pretty depressed the past couple days. I'm just making sure. Are you getting it better? No comment? Just gonna follow me? All right, you just follow my shadow because I need you in the light to get you on camera. I'm a dork. Okay guys, uh, as for right now, I'm gonna cut you off. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll right, see you next time. Isn't it pretty? Mm, my hand goes the wrong way. It's so pretty. I love that clean, open look. So pretty. Here, Opie. They gave us treats this time. Yeah. There you go. And I got ice cream. I knew they'd come through for us one day or not, Opie. Sure are liking that snack. That's your third one, man.